hello everyone in this lecture we will see what is udp that is user datagram protocol so the udp is user datagram protocol and we say it uh, is a connection less unreliable transport protocol so the connection less unreliable transport uh, it is uh, unreliable transport protocol means sometimes if we process want to send a small message and does not care about the reliability we can use udp so it takes less inter uh, interaction use uh, than the using tcp so udp is a very simple protocol using minimum overhead now user data this is the uh, user data come a format it contains two field one is a header and second is a data so the udp packets call as user datagram and it is of a fixed header of eight bytes and made up of four fields each of two bytes then we'll see udp services there are six main services first is process to process communication so the process to process communication using the ip address and the port address next is connect uh, ip address and the port address so these are the different um, protocols which are used for the udp uh, these are the protocols which are used for the udp and tcp services and the description is mentioned here and the port number is also mentioned in this table mm, next next is connectionless service we know that it's a connectionless protocol so it's so it provides the connectionless uh, service next is flow control so the simple protocol so there is a no flow control the receiver may overflow with the incoming messages fourth is error control so there is a no error control mechanism in udp except for the checksum so this means the sender does not know if the message has been lost or duplicated because it's a connectionless uh, service uh, and so there is a no error control mechanism is defined next is encapsulation and decapsulation so encapsulation means me, me, means message sent to the udp with the help of socket address and length of data so udp receives the data and the address of the udp header udp passes the user datagram and ip with the socket address so ip add its own header and pa uh, and pass to the data link layer so data link layer receives the uh, IP datagram add its own header and it passes to the physical layer. So the physical layer encodes with the bit into the electrical signal and it sends it to the uh, remote machine and that is the encapsulation and en exactly opposite to the encapsulation is decapsulation and it ha happen at the receiver process. Next is multiplexing and demultiplexing. Multiplexing So at the source side, it occur. It works as a many to one means um, 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 uh, different processes at the client side, and it sends the combine. It combines that message and it sends to the single channel. And uh, at the side destination side, it means one to many. That many uh, many processes are distributed according to the um, sources then these are the different this, this is the different um, application udp application that is the client server application and suppose it uses the dns service so clients need to some uh, send some short request to the server and receive a quick response permit the request and response can be fit in a one user datagram. So the only one message is exchanged between the each direction. So the connection feature, connectionless feature is not an issue. The client or server does not worry about the message or deliver out of the order. So this is the application of uh, this is the UDP application. Another application of UDP is client server application using SMTP.
so this is the disadvantage of the connectionless service where we can say using the udp and here we cannot use the udp because of udp is not reliable thank you